Hello and welcome to News X Auto. My name is Shiraz and that's the Husqvarna Swarthpillen 401. We will refer to it as Husky here on. All right. Now, see, the one line review would be this is the Gen 3 Duke 390 in different clothing. And yes, you will get this motorcycle and the 250, uh, you know, with pillion as well in KTM showrooms. All right. But, you know, again, a one line review would be doing injustice to a motorcycle which is on new com when compared to, you know, the old Husky. Speaking of which, there was one major uh, drawback of the previous one for Indian conditions. The seat height was obnoxiously high at 4, uh, 842mm. Now it has dropped down to 820mm. Moreover, uh, if you uh, you know might remember that the pillion seat was a joke okay now they have uh, increased the size they say that the overall length has been increased by 100 mm okay and uh, you know you can see that yes uh, the pillion perch has become m a lot more substantial than earlier all right now See, I'll tell you what, I'll keep this uh, review brief, okay, because, you know, essentially, like I said, it is the Gen 3 Duke 390 in different clothing. So that basically means that the engine, gearbox, chassis, suspension, okay, everything is, uh, you know, the same. However, the rear subframe is different. Of course, they had to put, you know, new panels uh, and uh, the new seat, okay. And a different seat rather, you know, when you compare it to uh, the Duke uh, 390. So that's why the rear subframe is different. In fact, what I'll do, I'll just, you know, put a picture over here. Okay, the colored, uh, the pink parts, uh, you know, those are the parts which it, it uh, does not share with the Gen 3 uh, 390. Now, as you can see that it has uh, spoke wheels and these are tube type uh, tires. Okay. However, the good news is that the 250 that gets alloys and since the you know wheel size and of course the tire size is the same, you can in the near future whenever you are you know tired of uh, spoke wheels and you want to swap, you can get those wheels uh, you know installed on this one. Now let me show you the instrument cluster. Before I do that, see the switch gear is from again the D390. It does get a color TFT. However, of course, the layout is uh, different. And what is different is, all right, see. Okay, first of all, it does not get Bluetooth connectivity as standard. It is uh, optional. Now, more importantly, unlike the Duke 390, it does not get those uh, track mode and rain mode. Okay, it, uh, this is the default mode street. If you want to change it, it would not allow you. So essentially, there is no power mode, okay, or ride mode as such. So you get all the power, okay, at your disposal, and that is how it is. And I like that. Now, what you can do you can switch the rear ABS off, okay? They call it the super motor, of course. And you can switch the traction control off, all right? Now, uh, one thing, this motorcycle does get a quick shifter, bi-directional quick shifter. Now, you would not hear this, you, you know, uh, in, in almost, almost every review. Okay, why, I'll tell you, because the press release that they had sent, they have not mentioned anywhere that this gets a quick shifter. All right. I think they uh, mentioned something like an easy start system. All right. Now, so this is how you would get to know who is a real reviewer. Anyone who tells you that this gets a bi-directional quick shifter is a real reviewer. All right. Now, do let me know in the comment section, uh, you know, who else uh, did mention that. In fact, just uh, one good to know information. This was, of course, crucial. And now, one good to know information I checked with, uh, you know, the Bajaj, KTM, uh, you know, Husqvarna guys, that uh, whether this has a different ECM, okay, uh, than the Duke 390 and my I was right yes the ECM is different on this one again a good to know information
See now I'll quickly wrap this up. Okay, uh, you talk about the handling, uh, the right quality, the performance. It is the Gen 3 Duke 390. So yes, explosive performance, brilliant handling, and acceptable right quality. Okay, it is not harsh like the earlier Dukes. And again, you do get uh, like the uh, D390. You do get. A preload and a rebound adjustability in the mono shock and rebound and compression adjustability in the fork. Uh, so yes, you can tweak it up, uh, you know, according to your preference and body weight. So, uh, what's the verdict? See, uh, you know, if you compare it with the old uh, Husky, there were essentially two things. Uh, one that I've already mentioned, the seat height, and uh, also the tank capacity was less. They have fixed both. Now this gets a 13.5 liter tank, okay. And uh, I've already talked about the you know seat height, which is now 820 mm. So, who would buy this? Uh, uh, anyone who really wanted to uh, buy the Duke 390 for its performance, but did not for some reason you know like the way it looks, this is the bike for that person. A beautiful, gorgeous looking motorcycle. It will turn heads, okay? I even when it gets old, like, you know, a uh, few years down the line, this would still continue to turn heads. So yes, uh, brilliant motorcycle. I really loved it. And uh, if you have any more questions, please do let me know in the comment section below. And did I tell you that you will get this in uh, KTM showrooms? I think I did. Uh, if I did not, now you know. And yeah, do subscribe if you haven't already. Do hit that like button and I'll see you soon in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.